Hi, in today's video I'm going to try and address something that a few people over the years have commented on about when I've been making things in the past and I've been talking about measurements in imperial, not metric, and I've said something like this is going to be one eighth or two eighths or five eighths. So I'm going to try with the help of this paper pad and a couple of rulers and even my trimmer to try and explain eighths and sixteenths. Now on the face of it, these two rulers here look the same apart from this one on the bottom goes to 12 inches and this one goes to 11, but there is a difference. Now, if you look at this ruler and you look between an inch section, doesn't matter which, they're all the same, from the one to the two, you've got these little marks. Now, if you count these marks, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the two makes 10. That really isn't any help when you're making something using imperial measurements where you need eighths or sixteenths, because you need eight eighths for a start or sixteenths to make an inch, and there's 10 marks there. So this ruler would be no good. I think this is a metric ruler. So I'm going to put that one on one side. If you look at this ruler and look again between an inch mark, if you look from the one inch mark, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the two inch becomes the eight inch. So this is definitely an eighths ruler. Now, on my pad here, this is a Stampin' Up! grid pad. Again, you'll see if you look between the inch marks, which I'll try and highlight, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, this is an eighths ruler, which is good for when you're making 3D projects for, so for things like boxes and bags and that kind of thing. Now I'm just going to bring my paper trimmer in and this is a Fiskars paper trimmer and again I don't know how well you're going to see it but again if you look between an inch mark if I start at two inches I've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the third inch is eight. So again, that's eight inches. But if you look underneath where the two inch mark is between the three, this time you'll see there are smaller increments. So you, if you count from the two inch to the three inch, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and the three becomes 16. So these are sixteenths. So this ruler is good for if you do need to go down to sixteenths. Now I'm just gonna go back to my paper pad in the hope that this might be a little bit clearer. The first inch section of my pad here shows both sixteenths and inches together. Now, on this ruler here, the inch marks are all, the eighth inch marks are all little dashes and they're all the same height. But sometimes on some rulers, you will see that you've got smaller dashes, slightly longer dashes, then a longer dash again, which is normally a quarter inch mark, then an even longer mark which is your half an inch then back down to your intermediate length for your three quarters and then again for your inch so i'll try and see if i can make this clear in the hope that you can understand it so this first mark we know from the zero to the one this 16 so that's sixteenths so each one of these marks, irrespective of its size, is a sixteenth. And then within it, we've got eighths. So the first mark is one sixteenth. 
So if I try and put that on the pad, the second mark is two sixteenths, but it's also a slightly bigger mark, so it means it's an eighth. So one sixteenth plus one sixteenth also equals one eighth. So this is the eighth. So then you've got three sixteenths, four sixteenths. 4 sixteenths also becomes 2 eighths because this, 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 this and this are your eighth marks. So 4 sixteenths equals 2 eighths and so on down your ruler. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 five, six, seven, eight sixteenths, or one, two, three, four eighths. So eight sixteenths equals four eighths. And that's how you go on understanding eighths and sixteenths, which you will need to know if you want to construct things yourself to make something the perfect size. So I hope that helps. Please give the video a thumbs up, if, uh, thumbs up if it did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I have got a small project in mind where we're going to be needing to understand these measurements that will follow in the next video. Thank you.